He's gone. Roll the opening. Live from deep within the bowels of TBA Systems, it's time for Don McMillan live from my cubicle. Today, join Don and his guest, Hemp Worker of the Week, Christy. Plus another lesson in multimedia math, and as always, the news. I'm Paul Morrissey, and now live from his cubicle, here's Donnie. Welcome to Live From My Cubicle, the show for people at work, from people at work. I'm your host, Don McMillan. This is my co-host, my uh, cubicle neighbor for the last three years, Paul. Uh, Paul, we have a terrific show, right? Fantastic show. We have Temp of the Week, Christy, stopping by. I met her on the way in. She's our new receptionist. Uh, she checked my bag excellently. Yeah, and she is hot. I'm going to tell HR you said that. Well, let's get to the news. The top story tonight. Well, first we had Benifer, then we had Brangelina, and now we've got Oprah, or should I say, Obra, or my favorite, Oprama. I actually like Oprama the most. Who are you backing, Paul? Brangelina's my favorite couple. No, I mean, I mean in the election, Paul. Oprah's running for president? N never mind. Well, Nicole Richie finally gave birth to her child, a little girl by the name of Harlow, who was six pounds, seven ounces. Amazingly, only three pounds less than Nicole herself. I can't even imagine Nicole Richie being pregnant. She looked like a snake that swallowed a basketball. Actually, Paul, this picture is her at uh, eight months. Ouch. Yeah, that's amazing. And then finally, Al Gore has won another one. Yo, Dan, uh, did you get a chance to review the new test data on 98CX? I got a meeting in 10 minutes. Why is there a condom on your screen? Uh, that's classified, Glenn. And uh, do you mind uh, we're doing a show here? Oh, uh, email me. So Al Gore has won another one. That is right, a European company has introduced the world's first green condom. Oh, I've already got green condom. I've got red, white, and blue. I'm very patriotic in my sex life. That is really more than I needed to know. But you see here, uh, Nature Boy, green as in environmentally conscious. You see, condoms are not actually rubber, they are latex, which is a form of plastic and is not necessarily biodegradable. Oh, so in reality, I've been screwing the entire planet. Uh, you could say that. So anyway, this new condom is actually a paper derivative uh, for the environmentally conscious, but now you have to turn to whoever you're sleeping with and ask, paper or plastic? Well, paper doesn't sound secure to me. Uh, that's why I would suggest double bagging. Good idea. So that's it for the news. Now it's time for a lesson in multimedia math. Multimedia math is our attempt to make math more fun by adding graphics and images. Here's how it works. If you took hockey and you subtracted out skates, you'd have boxing. See how this works? Uh, Don, I don't mean to brag, but I was a mathlete in high school. Oh, well, Paul, I was actually captain of my math. Oh, captain, was that an elected position or just the guy who got the most wedges? Yeah, you're just jealous. Here's another one. Uh, Billy Crystal minus uh, testosterone, and you'd be left with Richard Simmons. <laughs> That's funny, but enough dudes. Let's get some naked chicks on here. I thought that was the whole point. Well, I, I had some pictures, but my wife deleted them. You gave your wife your password? Yeah, I, I know, I know I shouldn't have done it. And uh, let's see, uh, Britney Spears uh, minus uh, three brain cells, exactly three brain cells, and you would have broccoli Spears. Oh, uh, Don, I don't mean to rush, but we're running out of time. I think we should bring our guest out. Righto. And now it's time for Temp of the Week, where we get to meet TBA's newest temporary employee. This week, we're going to meet directly from building number six, our new receptionist. Please welcome Christy Hale. Come on in, Christy. Sit down. Thanks. Welcome to live, uh, to live from my cubicle. Thanks. I got my nails done. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a camera and everything? Are we on TV right now? Uh, well, the, the web, but it's close enough. <laughs> you guys are so funny. You're <laughs> so crazy. Shh, don't, don't tell anybody. So, Christy, um, how long have you been at TV? Well, um, I got here at 9 this morning. So, this is your first day? <laughs> no, I started on a... Well, that, then you've been here for a week, then? Well, I go home every night. Oh, Christy, I go home every night, too. You two are made for each other. You really should get a place. So, Christy, let me ask you this. Does the temporary thing bother you? Does it bother you that I call you a temp? No. Because when you think about it, what job really lasts forever? I mean, nobody even lives forever, so really, we are all just temps. Totally. I feel the same way. All we are is dust in the wind, dude. It is almost deep. So, let me ask you this, Christy. How do you like it here so far? Well, it's so nice. Everyone is so nice, except that um, I keep bumping my elbows. Everything in this office is at elbow height. Do you guys bump your elbows? Oh, 
Guys, sorry to interrupt. Uh, Larry's coming back from his cigarette break. We gotta wrap things up pronto. He's supposed to be receptioning. Well, thanks, uh, thanks for coming, Christy, and, and thank you for joining us. Uh, join us tomorrow where our guest will be uh, John from IT. He's that guy that wears shorts and sandals, right, Paul? Yeah, a legend. He doesn't even wait till casual Friday. Well, that, that should be fun. So until then, uh, get back to work or at least uh, visit.